another deep question. <clears throat> what do you believe that is so essential as a sonship in the kingdom of Christ Jesus? Oh, there's so many things. There's so many things that I could say. I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to tie them all together, though, because they all go together. So before you can be a steward of a ministry, you first have to be a servant of the kingdom, whether that is serving God. So before you can first minister to others, so before I can minister to Loretta or anybody else that's in the chat right now, I first need to learn to minister to the heart of the Father. Because if I can't say, like God, like Loretta and I and Cheyenne Scarlett were talking about this the other day. Like, if you cannot ask God, like, God, what do you like me to do? What do you like that I don't do? So if I can't learn, like, God, what songs do you like and not like? And sing them or not to sing them? Then how am I going to minister unto other people? Like, how am I going to learn to talk to other people? So, if I can't learn the character of Christ, then how am I going to learn the character of others? Because when you feel or you hear or you see in the Spirit, the only way that, that comes is by having a relationship with the Father. Because we know that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights and light. If you have the ability to see in the spirit or hear in the spirit or feel a word of knowledge or feel a prophetic word or whatever it is, that comes from God. That comes from the Father to us through the blood of Jesus, through the Holy Spirit. So there you go. Um, so the things that are essential for us as ministers and just the body of Christ in general is... Going back to the heart of the Father, learning to minister to the Father and to minister to Jesus before you minister to other people. Because before, I say this all the time, and everybody's going to get tired of me saying it, but honestly, I don't care. Like, before you can be a steward, you first have to be a servant. And before I'm an evangelist, before I'm a prophet, before you're an apostle, anything that you are, you first have to know that you are sonship with Christ. So something that's so important with sonship of Christ. How can you have relationship with, like, how can the Father father you if you don't have relationship with the Father? How can the Father, like, the way, so for example, I'll just give you a carnal earthly example. <laughs> that okay when I was younger I don't know this because obviously I was a baby my dad would tell me as I got older like as a baby because as like a little kid and as a baby I was more of a daddy's girl now I'm more of a mommy's girl okay okay but dad would tell me that like I would like lay like on his chest as like a little baby and like go to sleep now putting that into a spiritual perspective if my dad didn't father me in their earthly the same way, like if I don't spend time with my earthly father, I'm not going to know him. And gain, being his daughter, gaining that trust between the father and daughter, the same thing happens in the spiritual. If I don't spend time with him and allowing him to spend time with me, because you have to allow someone to spend time with you. Because if I don't, because if Loretta wants to spend time with me very bad, Loretta wants to spend time with me so badly, but I don't want to spend time with her, then it's not going to happen. Why? Because she needs my, per, well, not my permission necessarily, but she needs, uh, I'm just going to use the word permission because I don't know what else to use. Because like the way that we spend time together is when we do our calls and we talk and we have fun. But Loretta could want to spend time with me so badly. But if I don't want to spend time with her, then like it's not going to happen. So before the Father, you can allow access to the Father in your life. You first have to give them the time of day to actually do so. So before me and Loretta can have a relationship, we have to communicate. Before I can have a relationship with my parents, we have to communicate. So the same way before I can gain my sonship, again, sonship is not earned. It's paid through by the blood of Jesus. But again, you have to allow the Father to communicate with you. How is the Father going to tell you, tell Loretta that I'm going to do this, this, and this, if I can't first like spend time with him and communicate with him? Like, 
I don't know Loretta unless I spend time with Loretta. I'm not going to know Loretta by spending time with Cheyenne and vice versa. I'm not going to know Cheyenne by spending time with Loretta. Why? Because that's not how it works. So I can, uh, my, like the sonship, it is not earned. It's granted to us through the blood of Jesus. But a lot of people say, well, everybody, even if you're not saved, goes to heaven because Jesus died for everybody. Yeah, for God so loved the world that he gave his son, for he loved the world. But you have to first accept the sacrifice. When the fire fell, it fell upon Abel's sacrifice and not Cain's. So God had to accept the sacrifice. The question is, is God going to accept your sacrifice? Because if you're not spending time with him, and you're like, God, give me, give me this, give me, give me that, give me a Lamborghini, give me, give me a mansion, give me this. But he's like, bro, what are you talking about? You don't even spend time with me. And we're like, God, give me a ministry. Give me a ministry. But Jesus is like, you want to minister to others, but you can't minister to me? You you don't need nothing. Like, if I can't trust you with a bicycle, I'm not going to trust you with a Lamborghini. So, gaining, it's not even just gaining sonship with Christ. Because, again, it's not earned. And you don't have to win a trophy to win God's approval. Because God's love is not something that you have to win over it's something that's freely given but you have to choose to receive that love because someone could give me like the best hug ever but if i don't receive it then i'm just going to be like you but like, get away from me like so i have to learn to accept the sacrifice that jesus paid the love of god that he gives and the comfort that the holy spirit gives us so having that sonship goes back to the heart of the father being intimate with the father being intentional with the father so that's my answer amen <laughs> and like um, like she said uh intimacy with the father asking him what he likes what delights him that you do for him not what i god i want this for me uh god what do you think about me god me 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 but like jonna said lord today you know, you wake up. Because I remember John had told me this before. She said, before I wake up, I, I thank the Lord. I thank God for everything. And then she said, Lord, what can I do to, What can I do for you today? And also she said, um, you know, Father, what pleases you? And she never said, what pleases you that I do? No. She said, what pleases you? It's like no I in there. And I love that. And then I remember last weekend, Cheyenne and... Scarlett and Jonna, we all four of us was, um, you know, just <clears throat> glorifying the Lord. And, you know, something that's very beautiful, Cheyenne, I have to put Cheyenne as a highlight today as well. Um, there's something that she said, <laughs> Jonna, eat your vegetables. Cheyenne I was said, just putting a Cheyenne comment up there just so we know. <laughs> Cheyenne said, What we sing to the Lord that comes from our hearts, not Sing to the Lord what other artists writes. But what mm -hmm. does the Lord highlight in your life that you can sing to him? Like, for example, how David sang to God because he loves the Lord. He didn't get it from, you know, uh, when you call it um, Bethel Church. Or he didn't get the, the songs from Revelation Church. He got the song that, that comes from his heart that he sees the Father, like romance in him. Like, oh, Father, you're great. You're wonderful. You're beautiful. I see your glorious, you know, face shining upon me when I'm in the valleys. I see you walking with me when I'm falling. You know, it's like something beautiful, something intimate, something that you will never forget. He was always there, you know. Um, or you can say the lowest times of my life when I'm dragging in the desert. Father, God, you are the water that quenched my thirst. You are the water that quenched my soul. You know, that kind of connection that we talked about and we sing about it. And we, we just want to tell him how beautiful he is, how good he is. He's too good, you know. And so when we, you know, we have to have an intimacy like that, where we're just like so in love with, the, with God that everything, even the good and the bad, we see the good of him. So, okay. And that's me, but, but I just wanted to say what, what we. No, it's what good. We Thank you. Mm -hmm.